Well, hello everybody. Welcome to PBM Money. Today, I want to talk to you about making money off of your credit cards. I, originally, I was going to call it make $1,000 a year in credit cards. But I started thinking about it and I thought, you know, I'm basing that on about a $35,000 a year person. But what if you're making $350,000 a year? thousand dollars doesn't sound like that much so for about every twenty five thousand or thirty five thousand dollars in salary you make you can make a thousand dollars on your credit cards so if you're making a hundred thousand dollars a year you should be able to make four to five thousand dollars a year extra off of your credit cards and today I'm going to talk about how to go about doing that now first off I need to make some assumptions. We need to talk about your credit rating being around 660 to uh, minimum, at, at, at the very minimum 660. We're going to assume that you pay your cards off every month. We're going to assume that you have a checking account. And here's the big one that most people don't understand. We're going to put every all of our everyday expenses on credit cards. Think about that. Everything you buy every single day goes on a credit card. That is hard for a lot of people. But that's what it's going to take. Now, second thing you need to do is to get a plan. And the first uh, part of this plan is to get rid of every debit card you own. I did a video uh, not too long ago called 10 reasons to use a credit card and in that video I talk about debit cards are worthless. Why are you using a debit card? So get rid of your debit cards. We're not using debit cards anymore. Secondly, we're going to get three credit cards this year. One now, one in six months, one in 12 months. And each credit card you get should have a sign-up bonus. So if you're playing the $1,000 or the $1, in a year game, you, sh you should have $500 just on the sign-up bonuses on those cards. And with those three, the first card you need to get is your everyday card. And I'm going to recommend either the Discover IT or the City Double Cash because you get 2 or 3% back on every, every single thing you put on that card. Now, in addition to that card, you should also have a specialty card. Now, the one that I use is the American Express, and I can't remember the name of it because they've all got blue in it. It's the one that's got a $95 uh, dollar a year annual fee but I get 6% back on groceries and 3% back on gas all day every day. It's a good card and if you spend a hundred dollars a month or more or a week or more on groceries the $95 is well worth it. <clears throat> so uh, so I use the American Express now once you get a plan, and that plan is to get three credit cards, put everything on there, get rid of your debit cards, now you need to execute the plan. Go do those things. Don't just have a plan, now go do it. And one of the things I want you to do just to help you visualize what's going on here is I want you to set up an individual savings account. And every time you cash money in on your credit cards, I want you to put every penny into that savings account. And at the end of the year, you'll have $1,000. Now, one of the keys here <clears throat> is to think about, if, when you go to make a purchase, I want you to think about the cards that are in your wallet and which one is the best card to use. Now, for the first six months, everything you buy is going to go on that base card, either the uh, Discover 
or the city double cash. Everything you buy for six months is going on those credit cards. But now, once you get to the second card, six months in, and you're going to get a specialty card. Are you going to get one for home improvements? Or are you going to get one for groceries or one for gas? And you'll do the research and find out which one is best for you. But once you figure that out, you use that card as an example. For me, the American Express, when I go to the grocery store, even if the other cards have rotating balances of 5% on groceries, why would I do that? Because I'm getting 6% on American Express. So every time you go to that particular place, if you, if you got one for groceries, every time you go to the grocery store, you use that card. No exceptions. However, on that same card, I get 3% for gas. But on Discover, I have rotating categories where I can get 5% on gas. And right now it's Freedom Flex. So now I know that when I go to the grocery store, I use American Express. When I go to the gas station, now I use Freedom Flex because I'm making an extra 2%. You need to stay on top of it. You need to understand that. That way you can get every penny coming from every purchase you make. Now remember, this is money that you would normally spend anyway, and, and instead of just spending money, now you're making money. And that is the key to make money. And in order to make money, you have to pay that balance off every single month. Don't carry a balance. So now that now that You've done, and by the way, we did this game, we did a financial game on this channel uh, last year. And our goal was to make $1,000 on our credit cards in one year. We did it in like six or seven months by using this exact way to do it. And all you have to spend on your credit cards total is between $800 and $1,000 a month. Okay? So when you take the two to... 6% that you'll spend normally during the year, plus the four or $500 sign-up bonuses, you'll be at $1,000 very quickly, I promise you. Now, I want to make some suggestions on how to get there and how to get there um, in a peaceful way. If you're married or have a roommate, make sure that they're on board. And I don't mean just giving verbal assent. I mean you make sure they're on board. Because a financial journey is not it is not a lot of uh, fun. It takes a lot of discipline. It takes uh, uh, dedication and work to get there. Make sure they're on board. And make your plan together. The plan I gave you today is one that I know that works because I've done it. If you have another plan Work that plan out together and then stick with it. Now, in order, if you find a card that you want that's got a high, uh, you know, where you got to spend two or three thousand dollars in three months to get the card, don't don't poo poo it. There is a way to make your rent payment and your mortgage payment on your credit card. Now, if you ask them, they'll say, no, we don't, we don't take credit cards for mortgage payments or rent. However, if you Google online, there is a company that will charge your debit card. Now they want a 3% fee, two and a half or 3% fee, but then they will take it off of your credit card, cut a physical check and send it to your bank or to your landlord. So if your rent is a thousand dollars a month, or your mortgage payment, and you've got a $3,000 spend, you just do that three months in a row. Now, it will cost you 30 bucks, 3%, but if the spend, I mean, but if the spend is $3,000 and you gotta pay $30 to make that happen, but in, in exchange you make $500, would you do that? Spend 30 to make 500? I think so. So you, that's a trick that you can use to, to make the spend without busting the budget. Because you're going to make your mortgage payment or your rent payment anyway. You may as well make some spend on a credit card. Also, to keep your credit rating up, 
you need to put uh, some of your cards, if not all of them, on minimum pay the day before they're due. That way, if the mail runs behind or anything else happens, you don't get dinged on your credit bureau. That's important. And one last uh, one last suggestion. I said this at the beginning of the video. I'm going to say it again and again and again and again and again because it's very important, especially for you millennials. Get rid of your damn debit cards. They're doing you no good at all. Go see my video on the 10 reasons to use credit cards. There's not one benefit. Not one benefit. Get rid of your debit cards. Put everything on credit cards. But the key is, pay it off at the end of the month, every single month. Do not carry a balance. Well, there you go. I was going to call this make $1,000 in a year on credit cards, but if you're making $100,000 a year, $1,000 isn't much. So if you're making hundred grand a year on your, on your job, then you should be making about $5,000 a year on your credit cards, and that's possible. Just put your everyday expenses, find a way to boost that up on exp like your rent and your mortgage and your car payment, because that, that particular company, I can't remember the name of it, they'll write a check to anybody as long as they take it off, take it off of your credit card plus 3%. They'll write a check to your bank for your car payment, for your house payment, uh, any other loan payments you've got. Uh, that'll get you there pretty darn quick. And you ought to be, uh, if you're making a hundred grand, you should be making an extra five thousand dollars a year just by using credit cards. Are you getting that off your debit cards, you millennials? I don't think so. So there's a way to make money, creating money to invest that you don't have today. Well, you guys have a great week and happy investing.